Okay, so really quick, just wanted to do a really fun kind of lesson just to lighten the mood a little bit. So just random groove. I don't know where this came from. I don't know, it's funky as ever though. So playing in the key of D Dorian, right? So I'm just gonna break down a couple of ideas that I would think to do uh, in this mode, right? So all of the notes in a D Dorian scale. So I got D, E, F, G, A, boom. So now when I go off to venture and try to figure out ideas, I can utilize that, that concept of being in D Dorian and think of the relative modes, okay? So before we talked about relative major, relative minor, uh, we talked about that concept and just trying to figure out where we are in that realm of notes or where we are in relationship to the major major scale or major key or in relationship to the minor scale or minor key. So we're in the D Dorian mode. I can use the C Ionian to my advantage because it's right next to it. It's my next door neighbor, right? That's my relative Ionian. That's my relative major scale. So I'm in the key of D Dorian. I can think of it differently that way. So it works different versus be, being in a minor key versus being in a Dorian key, right? A different type of scale that is a minor scale, but it's not fully a natural minor scale. So you can think of Dorian that way. We talked about this plenty of times. If you, if you guys understand or have watched even some of the mode videos or courses, you understand the numbering of the modes in which they come. So we have Dorian as two. I'm thinking two all the time in my head. My one can be my go-to for different fills, different notes, different flavor notes, just so I don't seem like I'm just playing D Dorian all the time, right? Like I don't stick, I don't stay right here in. I don't stay here. time um, I can actually play a C Ionian right you know what I mean so I can, I can sound like I'm in a different key but I'm really not but I'm just using that using that as my foundation right using that as my foundation note instead of the, the D Dorian but anyway even when I went up here I'm playing intervals. I'm playing major third, minor third intervals. Uh, let me see if I can play it lower. Um, so you guys can see down here on this part of the fretboard. So I'm playing a minor third from there, which is I'm, I'm playing the D Dorian, right? So D Dorian scale with minor thirds attached to it. But anyway, so I have the one in the minor three. I have the two in the minor third of that. I have the minor th third of that scale, so I have the third note that of that scale, and it's going to be a major third interval, right? If I'm going based off of the scale, right? Uh, and you can just keep going with that same exact concept. So fourth note of the scale, I'm using a third major third interval there. Uh, wrong note. <laughs> And then I'm using a minor third interval there, just pretending and just going diatonically to the scale. I can keep going up if I wanted to, but that's the idea. So just giving you guys some different, you know, ideas that you can do. You can go back to the tonic. You can go back to the Dorian mode and just play. play diatonically to the scale and land and start on D and be intentional about your phrases and your and your notes coming out and playing and starting on that note or that D. I'm using the uh, mix uh, scales. Uh, it's getting away from me. Blue scale. <laughs> Jeez, I couldn't think of it. So you can think of those different those different phrases and those different shapes when you start playing in these keys. So I know my D is here. My D is here. Even when I go to solo, okay, so I know if I'm, uh, I know I have a D up here. So I'll think of those shapes before I get there. 